Paul Pereira, musician, man of many roles. Tell us your music story. Oh, it's. Uh, Where does it start? Where it does started it in at the age of 16. Um, I used to play in a school band. Where? Uh, back in Malta. Uh, Malta is just under Italy. It's right in the middle of the Mediterranean. And uh, I used to play in the school band. I started to play the snare drum. Then I went to play the baritone, the saxophone, and the trumpet. And then I finally played the guitar. A lot then, of instruments. Oh, yeah. And uh, now I play the keyboards, right? That's a lot. So that so, was at the age of 17 and I'm 58, so it's a lifetime. It's exact, done. exact my age. But uh, what's your Goa connect? My father was from Asona. I see. My dad was from uh, South Goa, he was from Asona. Asona. And we, I was born in Calcutta, but then I came over to, uh, well he brought us over to, to Goa. And then furthermore we went to uh, Panchkini. Yeah. We used to go to school in Panchkini in St. Peter's High School. And then in 1973, he took us, because he was a sailor, and he took the whole family to, to Malta. To Malta. Because he used to work between, uh, what do you call it, Italy and, and Libya. I see. And he stopped twice in Malta, and he said to us, we're going over there. And that I was see. in 1973. Wow. wow. So, so Calcutta, Asolna, Veli, Kunkoli, all these are, are kind of nourishing places of music, especially for Goa. Oh, yeah. 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 Calcutta, what's your memories of Calcutta? Not, not a lot because I was, only, I was born there in a place called Kidlipur and I think uh, at the age of like six or seven months I was taken from Calcutta and brought to Goa. Somewhere next to Bo Barracks and all that? I don't no. know. <laughs> There's that famous film, no? Bo Barracks. Bo Barracks I do not have a clue. I, all I do is that I, I like Googled it on, on Google Maps I see. and it came up but I don't even know where. I know it's like on the east side of India, right? So, yeah, yeah. So tell us about your role in bands and, and uh, you know. The I have been, uh, I've been all over the world playing music except Australia. Wow. I have been to uh, practically every country in Europe. Oh, wow. I've played in, uh, in Cairo. I've played in uh, Rio de Janeiro, I've played in Canada, I've played in America, uh, played in India, I've played in uh, Southeastern Asia like uh, Singapore. It's just a matter of uh, connections and come and play here and come and play there. But, but Goans, the role of Goans in the world of music doesn't seem to have been fully understood or appreciated in that sense. There is a lot, no? All over you go. Uh, the Goans are very good in music. Yeah. They are. My father was a piano player as well. I see. Um, now my daughter and my son, they are, my daughter is a professional singer back in Malta and my son is a, a leading guitarist. Wow. Um, the problem I think about Go Goans, I think, is that um, they expect to make it high immediately and it doesn't happen that way. That's what I think, you know. I mean, I've been to so many places, I could have, I'm not saying I made it, uh, I made it big, I didn't make it big time at all, but at least uh, I've, I've discovered the world, you know. It's hard work and you need persistence in this field. You have to be um, on the mark, right? I practice every day for about two hours. Really? I do. I do. Apart from your playing? About, exactly, apart from my playing. And if I don't play, you won't believe me, I'll go back and play at home. I see. You know, it's just... It's, just it's a, like something it's you drug. need to get out of your I think system. It's a drug. It's a drug. It's a, I think it's a drug. <laughs> but it's my, it's my relaxation, you know. And like if I'm playing like uh, as I'm doing right now, if I make a mistake, then I, I won't show you, but internally I, I feel bad about it, you know. So I, I go home and I say, why did I make that mistake? Sort of, you know? what's, uh, your, what's, your, sorry, what's your take, Paul, on the music scene in Goa now? Where can it improve? What is lacking? Um, what I, I, think that, I, think, I think what's going on in Goa, this is my, my own, my own uh, Opinion. Uh, impression. Yeah. Um, Goa has very good musicians and they are very good in the, in the musical field and entertainment field. But if you look at Goa as it was about 20 years ago, today it is full of Indian tourists, which, in a, which, is, in a bad, which is in a bad way. Why? Because the Indian tourists, they do appreciate English music, but they do not want to show that appreciation. So all these clubs and all these uh, bar owners and whatever, they want to try and make money, so they don't bother to take on the Goans, and they probably bother to take on more of these karaoke and Hindi singers, you know. That is my take of it. And the problem is that now it's become so common that you find them all over the place that the price has gone down drastically. You know? I, see. 
I mean, I'll be honest with you, I am working uh, four nights a week. I would like to work seven nights a week, but I'm not going to go, go down for peanuts. Yeah. You know? I, yeah. I prefer to stay at home right. and just wait, you know, until like, work picks up. And uh, I really would love to like <laughs> learn to sing in Konkani. I always say that I want to sing in Konkani and Hindi, but uh, I think I think I have a bit of an accent problem, and you know, trying to do the pronunciation correctly, you know. So, you shouldn't feel apologetic for it because uh, you know I I've been I think many people in Bardes particularly, or even in Salset, have been through this migration experience, and language loss is a real thing. You know, it in is, that it sense. is. It is. While people thrust it in our face and say you all are disloyal, you all don't know your own language, your own mother tongue, but sometimes it's for reasons beyond your. Beyond your control, control, right? Yeah. I like well. Well, I remember my my mom and my dad used to always speak to us in English. And, and I the left. schools we had a fine. We spoke exactly. in Konkani for a reason. For a reason, they wanted us to get into the English speaking world fast. Correct. Yeah. You know, good thing or bad thing, I don't know. But no, <laughs> it's, it's a good thing. It, it opened it opened world <laughs> the doors of the world also in a sense. But you know, I mean, like I was in a, I was in Italy, and performing over there, and they said to me, "You have to try and learn one song in Italy." In, in Italian, Italian, right? And it went down like a bomb. You know? I see. So, so I, my, my, my target at the moment is to learn one song like in, in, in Konkani. And you, can these, you can do it, you can do it. I'm sure I can do it. And then one of these like uh, Bollywood songs or whatever. There know. was this ex Kenya musician in Italy, I forget his name. He passed away three or four years back. He was uh, an ex musician. Ex Kenya in... singer. I, I'll send you his link from, from YouTube. He's okay. got some recordings of his there. Okay. They're all over the world. The Goan music shop has been all over the world, in Singapore, Malaka, Malacca, Malaysia, all these places, East Africa, Pakistan, mm -hmm. what became Pakistan, you know, so... And, it, and I think Goans are mostly um, of, of Portuguese uh, descent, right? Not really, actually no. we are converts in that sense. The feeling is that we are of Portuguese descent, but the influence and the and the influence is very strong. The 500, 450 years is a long time. Mm -hmm. And that globalization, the westernization. What's your word of advice, words of advice to young musicians, wannabe musicians from Goa? Uh, well, I'd say my, my word of advice for any musician is that whatever you want to do in life, do it seriously and do it uh, with a passion. I'll be honest with you, if I, if I get fed up of uh, playing music, then I think I should give it up. I mean, I can, go to, I can go to a place right now and say to them, I want to play music over here. They say to me, um, oh, you know what, the price is incorrect and all that. I, I'll say to them, okay, don't worry about it. I'll come and start to play and you look at the, uh, the people coming in and then you pay me, you know. But I'm doing it through a passion, nothing else, you know. I yeah. mean, uh, passion is most important. You have to have that, right? In, in any other, in any career, right? Uh, in any career, right? I drive a taxi in, in, in Barry when I go back to Canada. I see. So I just love it. <laughs> I just love it. I mean, I go and get people in my cab and I put on my music and I ask them questions about my music. They don't know who I, I am. I see. I see. I make a lot of tips about it. <laughs> uh, and then, and then, like in the evenings, on the weekends, I go on down to a few clubs and play my music. Your, your taste, huh? Anything. Old music? Yeah, 60, yeah. 70s. I'm old, right? <laughs> no, no, no. We all are old, but uh, 60s, 70s, I mean, Goa is stuck in a time warp in a certain sense, which is a good yes, thing. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, even yes. radio and all that is focused on. Yes, and I think it's it's good in a way because there are a lot of people who are wanting to go into the mainstream of music, right? And they don't make it, you know? So, when somebody is watching and they, like, uh, and they're watching you and they say, oh, this guy sounds decent because he's doing the old stuff and he's making sets, you know. So I, I think it's, it's a good thing, you know. Who are the ones, who are the, which are the, which are the singers you like to sing the most? Oh, me? Uh, it would be favorite? definitely Ray Charles, Eric Clapton. They're all main singers, right? Neil Diamond. I've seen them all in concert, by the way. You've seen them? Oh, yeah. I've seen them all. Stevie Wonder, who else? Uh, in Europe? Yeah, yeah. I saw Stevie Wonder in Singapore. I see. Uh, I don't know who else. Uh, I think my favorite is Neil Diamond. Neil Diamond and Ray Charles. Great. Thank you so much. Thanks and all the best. Yeah, Thank you, sir. Really appreciate your time and wishing You're you all welcome. the best.